Okay, so in this problem, we're told how fast does water flow from a hole at the bottom of a very wide 5.3 meter deep storage tank filled with water? Ignore viscosity. So we have this tank here, right? So imagine this is our uh, storage tank, and we know it's going to have a depth of 5.3 meters. So the distance from where the water is right here, the surface level, to our hole is going to be 5.3 meters uh, since this is at the bottom. And so in order to find the velocity at which the water is going to flow out of this hole, it's really just using a basic formula, which is Torricelli's formula, which basically tells us the velocity at which water will flow out of a hole uh, relative to uh, if it's in some tank uh, using this formula. So the formula is the square root of 2gh. And so uh, 2 is just a constant. g is just the acceleration due to gravity, uh, 9.8 meters per second squared. And then h is essentially the, the difference in height or the distance from the hole all the way up to the surface level. So uh, we know it's at the bottom of the pole and the free surface is right here. So the distance between these two they tell us is uh, 5.3 meters. So h is just going to be 5.3. And so yeah, it's just a matter of plugging this in. So you have the square root of 2 multiplied by 9.8 multiplied by 5.3. So you're going to get... The velocity in this case is 10.192. Uh, obviously, it's going to be in meters per second. Uh, you can round however you'd like. So you can say 10.2 meters per second. Uh, just make sure you round however your teacher wants you to. But yeah, so how fast is the water going to flow? It's going to flow at a velocity of 10.2 meters per second uh, at the bottom of this hole, right, in a storage tank 5.3 meters. So basically, the main takeaway is Torricelli's equation. Um, it's good use for finding this stuff. So just memorize it. V equals the square root of 2GH. And yeah, so this is going to go ahead and be your answer. And hopefully you found this video useful.